Sean, Tiffany, and of course, Nate right there with our ultimate travel national tour and Woo! Chris getting us out of the 25, uh, under 25 foot RVs. And we're getting ready to go into something really cool, what we call the face off, which is amazing. Yeah, you saw me stretching. I, I was getting the face off ready. <laughs> I love, great. okay, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the feel. I love the unique um, Center Island. You were talking about that 50 inch TV. I don't even know how, how big a 50 inch TV is. It's big. Yeah, it's <laughs> I, I would say it's about 50 inches, actually. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I want to talk about the Rogue, man. The Rogue's got a walk in pantry. I could live in that thing. I love it. <laughs> well, we're going to jump right into it. Here's the face off, the fuel, take it on the Rogue. Let's get away. Ultimate RV Show National Tour. Over 80,000 factory fresh units are on their way. And you know, you can actually go online and reserve yours right now. What's up? It's Chris Young with my buddy Colton. How we we are in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And man, A, I'm excited to be here because I love the area. Mm -hmm. We got such a great region, some of the most beautiful areas in the country That's to right. go visit. When you're talking about Tennessee, Kentucky, Arkansas, Mississippi, countryside is absolutely beautiful. Barbecue is absolutely beautiful Perfect down here. around here. Boy, they don't they don't get enough credit for the barbecue. No, they don't. They, right? They've yeah. done me pretty well. Tell me about it. Yeah, <laughs> man. So here's the deal. Colton and I got to talking. We got a lot of people in this area that like fifth wheel toy haulers. And there are two brands. One has been around forever, one of the top selling fifth wheel toy hauler brands for, for a long time. The right. other is a relaunch of a brand that was also very good as well. Yep. And we said, why don't we take the two, line them up, and give you guys the best of both. So if you had some questions about which one to get, we're going to point you in that right direction. We're talking about the Heartland Fuels and the Rogue Armored Vengeance, which used to be Vengeance. Yes, that is yeah. correct. Because they just relaunched it as Rogue Armored, right? Yep, that's exactly right. Yeah. So uh, with fifth wheel toy haulers, I love toy haulers. Yes. Because you got versatility, you got uh, affordability. Yep. And you have, if obviously if you're gonna get a toy, this is where you start. Absolutely. You, you know, you have pretty much no other option. Absolutely. But for sleeping options, for separation of space, yep. and for just functionality, tailgating. We got uh, some yep. of the best tailgating around this planet That's too. That's right. Kentucky, Tennessee. And you know, they've been telling me all week, you can't mention Kentucky and Tennessee in the same sentence. I'm like, oh, it ain't that bad. Yeah, I was like, yeah, we can. Yeah. <laughs> if you love Kentucky, you don't like Tennessee. If you love Tennessee, you like, and then Arkansas, Mississippi. Look, man, tailgating down there, some of the best on the planet. That's right. And you tailgate in style when you get a chance to do it in the fifth wheel toy hall. So, for example, we're standing on the party deck of the Fuel 352. Colton, tell me a little bit about this beauty back here. So the party deck is a huge, huge deal for almost all of our customers that are purchasing a fifth wheel toy hauler. Uh, not everybody that buys a fifth wheel toy hauler right. is specifically buying it for their toy. Right. Yeah. A lot of people are getting them for this party deck for this reason right here, for this patio. You can come out here, have a couple drinks, sit in your lawn chairs, and hang out at the campsite or wherever you're at yeah. if you're tailgating, anything like that. Also, this is a nice little play area for kids yep. or your dogs that you bring with you. Yeah. So that way you don't have to worry about them just being stuck inside all day. They can come out here, get some fresh air, and have, and have a good time have with you. Have a good time. You can pull up the card table, set it out here, That's have right. some outside entertainment, especially if you're at a beautiful setting where you want to see nature, you want to be involved, but then you also want to be able to kind of step in. Mm -hmm. Now with the toy haulers, you are going to get certain things common between the two like garages. Most of them are going to be anywhere from 11 to 15 feet. That's right. For example, this 352 that we're in right now, 13 foot garage, multiple D rings down here. Mm -hmm. You got the, the rubberized floor, the diamond plating mm -hmm. going around the edges. Um, now these are full profile fifth wheels, which you know, when the fifth wheel toy hauler, you're gonna get. Yep. Um, so you're gonna have high ceilings, you're gonna have strong insulation, strong tires, strong suspension, but versatility and comfort standard. And they've upgraded that over the years, man. Cause I remember back, back in the day, some toy haulers didn't even have the bed systems in the back. That's right. But now we got these drive chains and these sofas are opposing sofas that fold down. You got a queen yep. size bed here, queen, queen size, size bed there, 300, 300. Um, I mean, sit down, put the table in between, separation of space. Uh, one thing I really like about the back end of your toy haulers is the diamond plate, the rubber floor, everything like that. If you bring your Razor side-by-side, -side, four wheel, whatever have yeah. you in here. Harleys. And you, Harleys. Yeah. If you bring in mud, dirt, or anything like that, this is super easy to clean. You just take a hose, wash it out, yep. you're good to roll. Just roll it right down the beaver tail, the do dovetail. Yep. We were talking about that earlier. Is it beaver tail, dovetail, whatever you want to call it. Because it's your RV, you do with whatever you want to with it. Um, the other great thing about fifth wheel toy haulers, some of them 
Actually, I think most of them have started yep. incorporating. Most of them. You get a half bath in the back. That's right. Really giving you a true separation of space. It's almost like a separate apartment. It is. In the back. So sure, if you got toys, this is your bet. You'll see more things like residential features, separation, solid doors with frosted mm -hmm. glass, TVs, lofts. Some of these will even have loft beds up top and all your controls to like run the beds and everything mm -hmm. will, will be right up here. Um, some of the fifth wheel toy haulers between these two brands, uh, between the Rogue and the Fuel, will have a separate ACs in the back. They, yep. Some of them will have it. It's really, there's just so many options these days coming to you know, what you're gonna get with your fifth wheel toy haul. That's right, that's um, right. And when we step into the living area, Colton, this is where every year I get more and more impressed with what they're doing in the living area. Absolutely. Right I mean, this is beautiful. Upgraded residential features. Tell me a little bit about the kitchen, man. So with the kitchen, you have this nice little peninsula set up here. It's kind of like an island, but it gives you that separation from the living area to the kitchen. Right. So you're, you don't feel like you're watching TV while you're cooking and things like that. Yeah. Uh, again, they're going to move to that 10 cubic fridge that everybody's going to nowadays, and it's one of the greatest upgrades it in the RV industry. Some of them run on 12 volts, some of them run on gas or electric. You know, you get the option to have them both, which is nice. That's right. And now some of these, well, in toy haulers, you're going to sacrifice a little bit of your living space. Sure. With the toy hauler part. Yeah. So what they've done on your kitchen, just like most other travel trailers and fifth wheels, they put that glass top up or glass top up top. Yeah. And that gives you more prep space yep. and more counter space and everything you need in here. Yeah. By flush mounting those burners uh, and adding that on there, you mm -hmm. really do get, you know, that extra prep space. Absolutely. And just set it off to the side, open it up and start your cooking. That's right. Yeah. I love it. Now. The one that we're in right now is the Heartland Fuel 352. And, and I, I got a cheat sheet for you. If I was to say, all right, Colton, 2021, this beauty is 12,800 pounds. We're looking at roughly 39 feet long. Mm -hmm. uh, can easily sleep seven people. What would the price for a fifth wheel toy hauler, this 352 be? Uh, typically something like this on a normal day, we're gonna sell it for 60 to 65 ballpark. You're right there. You're right there. Guess what it is for the Ultimate RV Show. $60,995, wow. $60,000, or as low as wow. $12.20 a day. That's awesome for a toy That's, hauler. For a toy hauler, dude, for 12, I mean, for a chance to sleep seven people in a spot like this. Now, you get things, and, and you're absolutely right about you giving up a little bit of living space, mm -hmm. but they try to compensate, and they give you things like these plush leather couches. That's right. With the large foldovers. These are recliners as well, so you can yeah. kick out, enjoy. You got the TV on the swivel. You got plenty of storage inside of toy haulers, but also what a lot of them will have on there is generators. Yes. So having that, whether you're going to the track, you're going tailgating, having that generator allows you to extend that season. Because now we're talking about, all right, well, I can just crank up the generator, run the AC, run the heat, run the lights, the whole nine, boom, and enjoy my time while I'm out and about. And here's our gin right here. Yes, and it should be a 5500 Onan Cummins on the fuel. Yeah, you're right on, spot on. Now you also have fuel tanks. Uh, on this one, mm -hmm. and the Harlan Fuels have 30 gallon fuel tanks on them, fuel yes. stations. Yes. Um, so that allows to also increase that <laughs> season because right. you don't bring the toys, but you got to fill up the generator. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know, I'm going to fill it back up. <laughs> All right, well, let's cruise on up the stairs here. Oh, I like this. They started adding more features like this, maximizing the space. Absolutely. More storage. I'm going to hop into the bathroom, which is passed through. You tell Kev right there about the bathroom. Right. So up here, they've cornered off your toilet. That gives you a little bit extra leg space and everything like that, especially for a bigger guy like myself. That's a big key. Big, big shower. You're not gonna find a shower this size in most fifth wheel toy haulers. Right. That's got the bench seat on it too. I'm 6'3 easily and I've got boots on. There's a little seat here. I've got plenty of space to move around, everything like that. It's perfect. Those single surrounds are nice showers because they're residential. They give you more space. They're easy to clean. That's right. Um, and they're lightweight. That's you right. Know, you, you, back in the day when you used to have to put those stick tubs in there, that, that added a little bit of weight to the RV. Yep. And with this one, you know, being roughly 12,800 pounds dry weight, um, that's a good weight for a fifth wheel toy haul. Absolutely, and that's a that's a three quarter ton, easily pull yeah, all day long. Absolutely. So, and Kev, I don't know if you can see through here. There we go. Let me get out the way. The master bedroom right here. Um, you got the wardrobe mirrored on the slide. Once again, 
opening up the space a little bit so you got to right. walk around queen bed right here uh this is a full profile so you're going to get over six feet of height that's right there. you know as you can see colton's taller than me and he's got he's not bumping yet not yet yeah <laughs> get a little bit closer get here we'll bit, get close go, hey, but... yeah. now shaquille o'neal might have a little problem shooting free throws and getting his head up that, in that's right that's right <laughs> what you have behind the door here is a nice little vanity setup as well you have drawers underneath mm -hmm. but if your wife or something wants to do her makeup free go out for a nice dinner mm -hmm. that's where she can do it at pretty easily it's a good spot they they're really beginning to upgrade the features so you're not uh sacrificing anything anymore by getting the fifth wheel toy haulers it used to be the fifth wheel toy haulers were just for hauling toys. That's right. You you got there. They they fully expected you to just go to the race, go to the track, you know, go out, you know, do whatever, bring your golf court, golf course, golf cart, and you know, you didn't get really any good features or amenities inside them. But now right. you can kind of see they're really upgraded residential style features, and they're made more versatile so that you can do more than just haul toys. Absolutely. Um, now, with the Ultimate RV Show. A uh, national tour. Yeah, there we go. Look at those beautiful 15-inch aluminum rims. That's we got right. that Dexter Easy Lube axles on there. Woo! Got the leveling system. The ground control automatic leveling system is great. And real quick, before we go to the Rogue, I wanted you to see the storage there. But there's that 5500 Cummins generator that Colton had mentioned and our auto leveling right over there on the That's right. That's absolutely right. Um, but during the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, especially with the face-offs, we won't be able to get to all the features that these RVs will have. But we have people standing by. We have over 150 locations, over 20,000 units on the lot, and over 80,000 factory fresh RVs coming. Come. So if you want to talk to somebody like Colt, you say, hey man, I got questions about that party deck. Sure, it's a 1,500 pound party deck, 3,500 pound loading ramp, but I want to do this, 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 and take it here, here, and here. How can you help me? We got folks, Colton standing by, he'll answer your questions for you. All you gotta do to get a hold of them, just text FRESH to 46642. Drop us a comment down below, FRESH. Now, here we are with the new Vengeance. Yes. And they hit the market with a Vengeance for 2021. They did, by changing oh, the name. <laughs> oh, absolutely. They, oh, they, they yeah. absolutely killed this thing. Yeah. Uh, so instead of an Onan Cummins, you're gonna get your Yamaha, and that's also 5500. And that's an inverter generator. Correct, absolutely. So it's got the inverter built in. The other thing I like what they did this year, they gave us more battery box space. You can get nine yep. batteries in there, and they put the generator under the floor. So that really increases your storage. You can see right here in the pass-through storage, yep. it's accessible front and both sides. Absolutely. Very nice touch. All of the fifth wheel toy haulers that you can see with Heartland and with Rogue are going to have the molded end caps with the running lights. Yep. They're beautiful, aggressive profile with automotive coating. So you're going to have less streaks, less wind resistance going down the road. And with the fiberglass, same thing. You're going to have like the Asdale backing. You're going to have the foam core insulation. So you're going to have some really good features both inside and out, no matter what brand you go. But with the Rogue armored, I think we're going to have just a few upgraded features. Absolutely. This is much more of a residential feel inside than the fuel is. Okay. Uh, right here, this is a no leak insert. Right on. So you can throw some ice, throw a couple beers in there if you want to. Have a oh, nice so this time. could be a little mini cooler. Yep, yep. The, now it's not, it's going to melt pretty yeah, quickly, yeah, 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 but yeah. You, you can get rid of them pretty fast. Yeah, well, yeah, that's how we do. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Have you ever seen ice melt on me? No, <laughs> so that's how it works. But we have good finished off pass through storage here, aluminum frame too. And you'll notice what they have here is their aluminum frame in the in the Rogue Armored series is a little bit thicker than some of the competition. That's right. What they did was they made that so it's more reinforced. The weight is a little bit heavier, mm -hmm. but not by much. You won't really tell the difference. For example, this is the 4007 uh, series. Yes. Um, the G2. You got the external kitchen. I love kitchen. this. Yeah, it's awesome. Love this. Oh man, look, I got the cutting board pop out. I got my fridge and I've said this for years, my, my brother Jace over here, if I'm gonna have my outdoor three finger pour bourbon, it's gotta have what in it? It's gotta have ice. It's gotta have some ice in it. That's right. And there we go. I got my ice maker. That's right. TV connection, I see in there we got a USB. We even got, uh, is this like a spray port? Oh, it sure is, we got a spray port right there. So if we need to clean anything off, got the connection there. Take it, that's a box for something inside. Yes, it is. I believe that's your sink. Look at no, this it's not. beauty. Look at that. So what they did, I saw Forest River for 2021. Mm -hmm. They put this tempered tinted glass yes, they did. on the doors. 
What a great feature. Man. Absolutely, absolutely. Privacy it's glass. Beautiful. Yeah, it's beautiful. Six point auto leveling on this bad boy. This yes, is sir. double axle. Now, this 4007, and uh, we're actually going to get to the party deck last. That's where we're going to stop. 12,934 pounds dry. Mm -hmm. Can easily sleep eight. And this one, a little bit longer than the 352. This it one's is. 44 feet long. So you got a lot of stuff in it. Double awnings. We got the scare and floodlights. That's right. We got the paw mount. So if I want to bring the TV outside, I can. Um, let's go inside and take a look at this beauty. Colton, you lead the way. Solid step over steps. The top step being a little bit bigger, um, it adds for a little bit more security. You'll see how it's a little bit bigger than the, than the other ones. Plus, it's pet friendly. That really helps if you're bringing the pets in. Having this makes a big difference. Oh, solid surface countertops. Beautiful, beautiful. Look at this. So right away, I have a bar or booth set up if I want it. Yes. Yeah, we have the chairs, uh, you know, underneath, or we actually took them out for storage. Um, but I got the option of having a bar with the decorative glass right here. I see what you're talking about with the residential features. Forest River loves that blue light. Yes, they do. They yes, love they do. that freaking blue light. It's, 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 a, it's a nice little accent. It light. is a nice accent. Absolutely. I mean, it's great for night, wonderful night lights. Uh, also, like with the reading lights, they give you the option of having the blue or the, the LED yep. white. Um, but man, I, I just laugh because every time I walk into something that's Forest River, they got those blue, blue lights. Guys, yep, they love it. <laughs> oh man, tell me about this now. So you have a farmhouse style kitchen. You have a soap dispenser right here, nice, quick and easy. Just yep. pop that a couple of times. Uh, three burner cooktop, nice size oven. Yeah. And also a convection microwave. Con this is nice. So yeah. it's, it's rare that you get both, especially in a fifth wheel toy hauler to get yeah. the oven and the convection microwave. That's just a big plus right there. Right. Also, what you don't find in a lot of fifth wheel toy haulers, a pantry. pantry. Yep. That's a that is a very rare thing to find. I love having the pantry because it does give you the option once again of storage. So yes. if you want to load up for that long trip, you know you're going to go somewhere. We got the generator, we got the fuel station. You know those are going to be standard on most you know fuels and rogues. Um, but having this for that long hunting trip, mm -hmm. dude. I take the shelves out, right, and put the cases in there. That's I mean, right. it's it, you can do with it whatever you want to right. when you're in your RV. But I see what in the left side of Hades is this. It's a new setup that Rogue has gone with. I've never <laughs> seen this before. Would you just and look it at it? Is <laughs> nice, I tell you. So this is the Fury, and this is a 14 cubic foot, correct, beautiful fridge freezer combo that has the shelf organization system in it. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, since it's Furion, I think it runs off 12 volts. It does. Um, seeing that in there, man, that, you were right. This Rogue has the upgraded, upgraded residential features. features. That's right. Okay, so uh, just that right away, my wife mm -hmm. would say that's a spot. That's it. That's, that's a the blind spot. Yeah, that's, yep. th that's a seller. For me, that's a seller too, because Blanton's, <laughs> Pappy Van Winkle. Blanton's, Pappy Van Winkle. Now you gotta you throw know, some Woodford Reserve in there. Yeah, right? well, see, that's just it. I, what I do is I hide. Gotcha. If if you can find the bourbon, it's the bourbon that's meant for you to find. All my good stuff is hidden in places. So like, you know how gotcha. some of them will have those little areas behind Absolutely. the TV? That's where I put all the good stuff. Absolutely, um, it speaks to you. It does. <laughs> Love the frosty glass inlays that we have right here. Uh, the backsplash, the multiple USB charging ports. Now, Rogue has the one control system on it too, which I'm a big fan of because you can control everything from your cell phone. Pretty much what you do is you just scan this little QR code uh, once you get the Lippert app and bam, you can run the slides out, run the awnings, the lights, the AC, the whole nine, all from the comfort of your cell phone That's right exactly there. exactly right. Love it. Got my inverter set up here. Mm -hmm. um, we got, oh, look at this beautiful couch. Once again, separating a little bit, giving up a little bit of the. Uh, doesn't have it. Not that it's not had the. Uh, but this is the sectional, so it is. this can come out. Both uh, have the heat, the massage. Right. In it, uh, you can opt to have this taken out, put the console in that does have the fold, or uh, opt to have uh, the jackknife sofa put in if you want it to. That's right. Zebra shades. Yes, that's what they've moved to on Arctic Wolf and Rogue Vengeance. It's a night yeah. and a day shade all in one. You don't have to worry about having two different blinds. It's all in one set. Right. Backlit subwoofer mounted in the uh, ceiling too. Residential features, residential LED sconces. 
I see I got Wi-Fi LGE prep. Mm -hmm. um, now, Colton, if I were to say this Forest River Rogue Armor 4007, we're looking at 12,900 pounds, 44 feet long, easily sleeps six plus people. Absolutely. What would you say is the price on that bad boy? Uh, somewhere low 70s, I'd say. Okay, all right. That's still a great price Absolutely. that you're only going to get at Camper World Gander RV and Outdoors. But during the Ultimate RV Show, $67,995 or wow. $13.61 a day. Absolutely. Where can you get a quality hotel for $13.61 like this? You'd have to search for a while and get one. Yeah, and yeah. Deal, <laughs> you? Let me tell you what. You could also eat with one chopstick. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I think you're going to accomplish the same thing. Live edge here on the uh, accents, six feet Fleet. five inches. And we got dual ACs. So Correct. this one uh, comes with the AC already in it. Yes. Some of them come pre-wired for ACs you yes. can put in if you want to. So you got 15 and 15 or 15 and 13, five. Right. A um, lot of options there. There's my LED reading lights, king size bed, storage underneath. And Kev, I'm gonna see if you can get in. I don't wanna hit you with the door. Where you at? He's in the bedroom. Ah, okay. Kev, check out this bathroom, man. Look at the residential style features that I have right here. Mirrored medicine cabinets, neo-angled shower with the spa shower system. Okay, now, Colton, you, you, you surprised me with this one. I was not expecting to come into a fifth wheel toy hauler. And have a spa set. And have the spa set right. up on this. You got the body jets in here. That's right. Holy crap, man. For less than $14 a day? <laughs> you can't even find a shower like that in a hotel. No. No. I can't even find this in my house. <laughs> what are you talking about? This, we in the high cotton. That's right. <laughs> we are in the high cotton. Porcelain high rise bowl with the foot flush. You got the vent fans. Uh, you, oh, you got the high, uh, high output vent fans too here. Uh, there's 12 blades. Mm -hmm. Love them because those those things will move a foot of air per second. Absolutely. That's great. Tons of storage options too. Um, I mean, this is just, Kev, this is yours. I'll tell you right now, this is yours. I like it. Um, but here's the deal with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour face-offs, talking about the fuel and the Rogue. You know, really when it boils down to it, um, it it's going to boil down to, it's going to boil down to your preference. During the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, they're going to get great pricing on both. Absolutely. I mean, that 352 was, let's see, $60,995. This Rogue Armored, which is a little bit longer, a little bit heavier, mm -hmm. only $67,995. That's right. So you're not going to lose either way you go. It's right. just, do you want upgraded residential features or do you want something that's going to be a little bit more rugged? Absolutely. Now, right away, I see, I got my 5,000 pound D-rings down here. I like those. Yes, sir. Um, but the Durapoxy flooring versus the rubberized diamond plate. Yes, sir. I got to say, I'm more of a fan of the diamond plate rubber floor than I am the, the Durapoxy. It looks a little bit more rugged in yeah. the diamond plate. Yeah. And that's kind of what you look for in a fifth wheel toy hauler sometimes, but this is still, it's still gonna be easy to clean oh, everything yeah, yeah. like that. It's perfect for It's it waterproof. Too. It's almost like the backside of that Asdell. That's right. That we talk about. I mean, it's, it's waterproof, it's easy to clean. It's just me, my preference. Yeah, it's slick. You know, but I can still do the, <laughs> before I, you know, do the little two-step. That's right. Plug, I can still do it. Now, their bed system is also kind of cool, too. Absolutely. Because they, they have the ready-set bed system. That's right. Which, you know, you really just pull down. Pull it down, yeah, and you and just then, push it back up. You don't yeah, have to worry about pins up. and electric motors, everything like that. And run it down. And that's a full-size? That is a full-size, yeah. Full-size. And then, once again, you can see when everything is down. Like, in the fuel, we had the couches up. That's right. Here on the Rogue Armored, they're just separated. Now, this is a 14 and a half foot garage. It is. And you also have your third AC up top of that bed as well. This one comes with three air conditioners. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. So, that's a nice feature. That's a huge once feature. Once again, residential. And if you need more space, you just open up the panel systems, and now you got a true 14 and a half foot garage in here. But Right there is your half bath. I'm, I really think this is innovative. The way they did the system is really cool. Um, love it. Got the loft bed up top. Boom, USB charging ports. I mean, look, the party deck is where it's at. That's right. 1,500 pound party deck, 3,500 pound, you know, load weight on anything. 
it's those options are going to be standard no matter what you go with when you're talking about those fifth wheel toy haulers. But Colton, once again, if you had to give me just the biggest difference between the Rogue Armored and the Fuel, what would it be? Uh, so with the Fuel, you're going to get more of a rugged kind of setting, everything like that, and a little bit darker wood. Mm -hmm. Now, when you come to the Rogue, you're going to get the glitz and the glamour. You're going to have that full size fridge, everything right. like that, and a nice little lighter wood gives you more of a residential feel right. as opposed to being rugged outside. Right. And have you ever pulled a fifth wheel toy hauler up to a lake and fished off the back of the party deck? I have never had the pleasure to do that, no. I'll tell you what, man, it's worth it. But here's the deal, with the Ultimate RV Show National Tour, it's about showing you some highlights of each brand, each different style, so you can make the best decision possible. But with over 80,000 factory fresh units coming, over 20,000 on the lot, you can't go wrong. It's just gonna be dependent on what are you gonna tow with, where are you gonna take it, what you're gonna do with it. That's and right. our friends like Colton are here to help you figure that out. And to get a hold of them, just drop us a comment down below, fresh, or drop a text FRESH to 46642. Ultimate RV Show National Tour face off between the fifth wheel toy haulers. Colton, thank you so much, brother. Thank you for having me, Fantastic. Chris. Fantastic. We're going to continue with more stuff next. Absolutely. My name is Dan McKenzie. This is my wife, Lindsay. We're full time RVers. We're in Breckenridge, Colorado, doing some winter camping. First five years of our marriage, we just traveled as much as we could. When we traveled, I just felt alive. I couldn't find that same feeling in anything else that I did. And we were in a small mountain town in North Carolina and it was beautiful. Yeah. We were having an amazing weekend together and she just looked at me and she said, I don't wanna go back. We have to figure out a way to make this something we can do. What if we could travel full time, take our house with us, take, take our, our dogs, dogs. With us. But even when she said it, that seemed crazy. We started realizing that there was actually a community out there of other people from all different walks of life, all different yeah. age groups that were doing it. And then we just kind of said, we're doing it. We had done so much international travel, we had kind of neglected America. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And so once we started exploring America, we just fell in love. We have found a whole new happiness that I never knew we could find. Yeah. Every place offers something different and unique and we literally fall in love with every place we go because there's just different culture and different um, attractions that we can check out. We really enjoy going to breweries at every place that we go, mm -hmm. um, so that's one of our favorite pastimes. We love, you know, checking out the dog parks and taking our dogs on hikes. Ice yeah. fish, Ice fish yeah. we're, we're going to try. Yeah, nice. <laughs> that's another thing about RVing and the lifestyle is that you don't have to have a plan. Yeah. Like a lot of our viewers you talk to, they'll you ask where are you going next, and everyone's like, I don't know. We might go here. We might go there. You can chase the weather and enjoy the seasons in the summer, or you know you can do winter camping. Coming back to Colorado in the winter is an awesome opportunity for us. Parks that we like to visit actually have less people during the winter. And then when we get really cold and we're tired of the snow, we can just head out, head out. and go chase a little bit warmer weather. I think the thing that probably surprised us the most about RVing was the community. But through the internet and through social media, I can't even believe how many friends that we've made and all the connections and the community that's out there that supports you. It's pretty incredible. It's so nice just to be around like-minded people and the friendships that we're building are lifelong friendships because we just share this unique bond. We call it our RV family because that's exactly what it feels like. The first risk that, like big risk that we took in our lives that led to a lot of other cool, exciting risks that we're taking now. We literally have a home on wheels, a traveling home. We don't live out of a suitcase like we used to when we would travel and take road trips. We've got everything with us and home really is where you park it. <laughs> and we just feel like we have the best of both worlds really, our adventure lifestyle, but also the comforts of home.